Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. Today I have this very versatile Navratri makeup look. You can totally wear it for Navratri, you can wear it for a party, a wedding, a night out. You can literally wear it for anything you want but obviously this has been styled for more of a Navratri traditional makeup look. So if you guys want to see how to get this look from skin prep all the way down to setting spray then please keep watching. So I'm going to start off with my skincare first and I'm going to be using a bunch of Ranava products and she's also also Indian, she's Gujarati, so I'm all here to support her and I've been supporting her ever since I discovered her brand last year. So I'm just going to start doing my skincare with some of the products and I will make sure I leave all the links to them below. I've already cleansed my face so I'm going to go in with the Hydrating Jasmine Mist first. I love the smell of this, it's so beautiful, it reminds me of India, it's incredible. So I'm spritzing that all over my face and then I'm gonna go in with my serum. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you'll know that I've been banging on about this serum for so, so, so long now. I've gone through so many bottles of these because it's literally the best. I use it every single evening and I just love the smell of it, what it's done to my skin. My skin is just so much more glowy and even and it, it truly is and makes me feel like a radiant Rani. Now that I have my serum on, I'm going in with the Renewal Bakuchi Cream and I'm gonna get this all over my face. This is a beautiful moisturizer, but it's so beautiful and hydrating. It actually creates a beautiful hydrated base ready for makeup. So now that my skin is all prepped, I'm gonna move on to makeup. And for this makeup look, I want it to be really, really versatile. Something where the eyes can go with any kind of outfit that you wear and a lipstick that you can switch up to any color. I mean, I feel like Garba and Navrati is all about beautiful, colorful outfits. And I wanted to show you guys something really, really versatile. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. First of all, I'm gonna start off by prepping my skin and priming my skin using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is a must have if you don't want your makeup to budge. Trust me on this, layer this in between all your other products that you're gonna be using. Your makeup is not gonna move. No matter how much jumping and dancing you're doing for Garba or Dandia, your makeup is gonna stay beautiful and stay put all night long. Usually next I would go in with my foundation, but I'm actually gonna go in with my concealer. And by doing this, I'm gonna be applying less foundation to the rest of my skin. And it just means that my skin is gonna be able to look and feel like skin, still be able to breathe. And also it's gonna stay in place because of that all nighter setting spray as well. So I'm taking the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer and getting that onto the usual areas with my damp beauty blender and blending it all out. For foundation, I'm gonna take my current favorite combo and it makes my skin look so, so, so beautiful and natural. And I always get compliments on this. And that that is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Foundation with the True Match Tinted Serum Foundation and get this all over my face using my damp beauty blender as well. I'm going to show you guys a close up. This is what my skin looks like with my base on. You can still kind of see my freckles through my skin but my skin just looks like skin, it feels like skin, it like breathes like normal skin and the best part of it all is I'm going to get some more all nighter on and get that sprayed onto my face just so that I make sure it's all locked into place and it's not going to budge through all the dancing. Time to set all of the concealer into place and I'm going to use the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder and get that onto all the areas where I popped the NARS concealer on and this is just going to mattify that area and keep everything in place as well. It's also amazing at blurring pores and giving you an airbrushed finish. I genuinely feel like this is the most magical under eye like setting powder ever like my skin just looks like it's been airbrushed it's beautiful actually let me show you a close-up of this as well so here you can see my skin is all set it doesn't look too heavy especially like in real life it doesn't look heavy at all but it's just beautifully set all of my skin in place time to bronze up my skin and i'm going to use my charlotte tilbury airbrush bronzer and i'm going to get that onto the usual areas where i want to feel really bronzed and sun-kissed i feel like this always adds a bit of color back to my face as well speaking of color to my face i'm going to add some blush now and i love 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 cream and liquid blushes so i'm going to pick up a favorite of mine which i was using when they launched but they're beautiful these are the nars air matte blushes and this is one is in the shade freedom and i'm going to get that onto the apples of my cheek and also i'm going to brush whatever's left over onto my nose as well. Gotta add some glow to my cheeks and I'm using none other than Seapop, which is officially not going anywhere, which makes me so happy. Smashbox are actually giving Seapop a new home in their, under their brand I suppose, but nothing has changed. 
the packaging, the formula, everything is the same. It's not going anywhere. So I'm just gonna get this onto my usual areas of my cheeks and my eyebrows, and also a little bit on the bridge of my nose. Seeing as my base is all done, I'm gonna give it one more spritz of the All Nighter Setting Spray. And that's really gonna lock everything into place and I'm gonna be full on dance proof. I'm gonna be keeping the eyes very simple and neutral. If you do like to cover your eyelids, then you can go ahead and pop a um, primer or concealer or some sort of base on your eyelids to start with a clean kind of canvas to work with. But I'm gonna be leaving the natural pigmentation on my eyelids as is because it basically looks like I'm wearing eyeshadow but I'm not really so that's just like a little bit of a hack especially if you're going to work in the mornings and you're going to go about at night and you want just something quick and easy use those little flaws that you think that you may not like to your advantage because I love doing that the amount of times I get questions saying what eyeshadow are you wearing when it's literally just my eyelids <laughs> so please take that tip on board and Pretend it's like fake makeup. <laughs> but I'm gonna go in and fill my brows in, seeing as I am gonna be leaving my eyelids empty. I'm using the Too Faced pomade in a pencil, and I'm gonna use that to fill in my brows, and then once I've done that, I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows and just set my eyebrow hairs into place. So for the eyes, I told you guys I wanted to do something really universal that will go with anything that you're wearing. So you can grab any kind of bronzy eyeliner that you want. I'm gonna be using this one right here. This one is the NARS High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner in the shade Mulholland Drive. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a very rough line all the way across my lash line and slightly on the outer portion. And then I'm gonna wing that out using a brush. This is gonna create a beautiful kind of smoky eyeliner without having to do too much work and it's gonna look amazing at the end. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see the eyes. And it looks like I've spent so much time doing this kind of smoky-ish winged eyeliner when actually it's just a rough line, kind of smudging it out a little bit and flicking the outer bit out. And using a brush, you can get that really, really easily. It doesn't need to be crazy neat. As long as you've got a little bit of a wing going on on the outer portions, it looks like you've made a lot of effort. To balance out the top and the bottom bit of my eye, I'm gonna take the same bronzer that I used on my face and smudge that into my lower lash line just so that we've got a little bit of something going on there and it doesn't look too empty. To finish off the eyes, I'm gonna tight line using the Rock and Coal Eyeliner by Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Bedroom Black and then finish off with some mascara. You can totally add some falsies, but I'm gonna skip it because I've got a few eyelash extensions that I'm still waiting to fall out. So I'm just gonna leave it as that, but feel free to go and add your favorite pair of lashes on top as well. And that is the eyes complete. They look like I've spent so much time on them, but honestly, Give it a go, practice, it's super easy to do, and this is something that you can wear with any kind of event, but um, it's something that I've been doing all the time recently whenever I've wanted to wear a little bit of something on my eyes but not go all out. But um, now that the eyes are done, I'm gonna move on to the lips. I'm gonna take this Tartius lip paint from Tarte in the shade Adorbs and get that onto my lips. I wanted to wear something super, super bright to show you that you can totally wear this eye look with a bright lip, but you can also wear it with a nude, a brown, a purple, literally any shade you want. Just look how beautiful that pink looks. It would look even amazing with a bright red or an orange as well. In true Navratri style, I'm gonna add some dots to my chin. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna end off with one last spritz of All Nighter Setting Spray so everything is locked into place. And this, you guys, is the end of my Navratri makeup look that is super versatile that you can switch up the lip color to anything you want. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love this festive time of year. It's honestly my favorite. I cannot wait to eat all the jakris and eat all the Diwali food. I hope you guys did really enjoy this video. As always, all of the products that I've mentioned will be listed in the description box below, so please don't forget to check them out. Um, but yeah, if I've forgotten anything, as always, will be listed in the description box. I'm sending all of the love and the light from my heart to you guys. And yeah, I hope you're all having a safe and beautiful time this time of year. And I will hopefully see you all in my next video. Bye!